This short video will explain how to begin um, week one for this course. So you are in college algebra, uh, math 12, 13. And the way you're going to maneuver this for the first week is this. So notice that when you go to the home page, you're going to see uh, a table and you're going to have important information at the top and then you have your weekly agendas at the bottom part here. Now what I want to mention is this, uh, this semester you're going to be using what's called Newton Alta for your assignments. So that's on this side here, see where it says uh, Newton Alta assignment instructions and then down here there's some important information for you to look at as well. Okay so uh, let me go ahead and just click on the first one. So I'm going right here. I'm going to click on Newton Alta Assignment Instructions. So if you click on this and you open it up, so it talks about getting started with Newton Alta at BRCC. So make sure you read this very carefully. All right, so notice there's a video guide. Um, then it talks about how to purchase uh, the different options that are available, how to purchase Newton Alta. Now, if you are in financial aid, um, I'm not sure, but I was told um, by others that you probably have to purchase your book from the bookstore. Um, I'm not sure how that works with financial aid. But the bookstore does have the book. Um, do not buy a used book. If you buy a used book, the code probably no longer um, is, is active. So you would have to purchase a code anyway to access Noon Alta. But there are different options. So they talk about option A, which is one and done bundle. So you go here. Then they talk about option B, which is just Alta access only. So if you just um, want to purchase uh, just the code, then you could do a monthly plan and then you can do a single term access. Now, if you do the single term access, if that's what you want to do, then you could do a 14 day courtesy access. So you'll be able to use this for 14 days. So if you have some, um, you get the money, it's, it's only $40 just for the code. You don't get the book, you don't get the electronic um, version of the book either. You just get the code. All right. And then this right here is if you're taking, it looks like statistics, but, um, but uh, I don't think any of you will do this one. Um, but the monthly, if you do the monthly plan, you cannot do that 14 day access. That 14 day courtesy access only applies for this um, uh, single term access, okay? And then they have option C. So option C is waiting on financial aid or not ready to purchase. So, so make sure you look at that as well, okay? All right, and then there are some additional resources. So check out these nerd tips for learning with Alta, learn about how your progress is measured, and then learn how to practice a review after you've completed an assignment. Okay, and then need technical support, contact a new support representative 24 seven by clicking on the live chat icon at the bottom right corner of any page in your assignment or email. Okay, now, so I'm going to go back, let me go ahead and, uh, so these are Google Docs, by the way. So let me go ahead now and go to the next one. So if you go here, see the next one right here, where it says enhanced e-text plus access code. So you click on that and this is where, if you want to get the, um, the code plus the electronic copy, now that's not a hard copy, it's an electronic copy copy then um, it will cost you $55 so instead of that 39 I don't know if I could get back to it um, yeah right here so instead of that $39 so instead of $40 right here if you want the electronic copy this is electronic copy again it's not a hard copy oops um, then you can go here add to cart and it'll just cost you $55 okay all right so that's another option Okay, so just keep that in mind. So I'm going to go back to, um, so we talked about this one. We talked about the enhanced access code. And then these are frequency asked questions for Alta Young College Algebra. So if you click on that. Oops, I did not, did not mean to do it there. So let me go ahead and minimize that. Okay, so I'm going to click on the, the arrow. Click on the arrow. And it opens it up at the bottom. All right. And, okay, so here you go. So. Let's see, so um, 
VRCC instruct, instructor uh, frequently asked questions for Alta Young College Algebra. So, so these are, um, so it says for, um, I'll just go ahead and read these. Um, it says students will go to the site. I'm just looking at some of these. So you're gonna have to read this very carefully yourself. Okay, all right, so that's that one. Then I'm gonna go to the next one. It says getting started with Newton Alta includes video. So click on that, and then it brings you to this page where it talks about getting started with Newton Alta for students using um, the learning system, in this case, Canvas, so in learning, uh, using Canvas. Okay, so um, just look at these, and remember this right here? So that's this as well. Then I'm gonna go to the next one, Nerd Tips for Students. It explains how, the learn, how uh, learning with Alta is unique. So it brings you to this page, um, so talks about nerd tips for students using the, in, this, in our case, Canvas. Um, so uh, just make sure you read this. Uh, complete assignments, having trouble, um, and so on. Okay. Then let's look at the last one, four step registration guide. Let's see what that is. Um, so this says four steps to get started with Newton Alta through, uh, in this case, Canvas. Um, so it brings you back to some of the same ideas we, we looked at earlier, okay? All right, now, so that, that's the um, summary for Newton Alta. You all have to make sure you get Newton Alta because, because your um, assignments with Newton Alta is 15% of your grade, but there are some tests that are through Newton Alta, and so you need access to Newton Alta for those as well. So um, you are going to have to purchase Newton Alta. If all you want is an access code, it's only forty dollars, and you can get the two-week period, so you, that way you can get um, your money to purchase it if that's what you need to do. Okay, so there's some other things here, but we're going to come to that at another point. Um, just want to talk about this for right now, the Newton Alta. Okay, so one of the important things of this table is your weekly agenda. So your weekly agendas will be posted here. So week one, week two, week three, and so on. So right now we're in week one. So if you click on week one, if you click on week one, and I'm, I'm meant to put this in student view. So I'm gonna go to student view just to see what you would see as a student. So this is what you would see as a student. So you're gonna read the syllabus. So you click on the down arrow, it opens it down there. So this is what you do on Monday. This is what you can do on Wednesday. Now remember, Wednesday we meet in class. So those of you that now this um, course involves two classes: students that are meeting face to face and students that are taking um, the web version of this course through MashMe. So there are two classes in here. So Wednesday is our meeting days. Um, now, if for some reason you cannot meet, those of you that are face-to-face -face, and you cannot meet on Wednesday, uh, if, you, if, you're not ap if you're not able to meet on a Wednesday, um, the recording of the MASHME recording will be posted. All right, but, but I just want you to notice that, that you have an agenda for Monday, agenda for Wednesday, and agenda for Friday. So I've split it up into three days to get you uh, to kind of uh, spread it out during the week. So rather than having all this in one day to where you're just overwhelmed. So, um, so each week you have to, we have to cover two to three sections a week. So two, three, uh, maybe a few weeks, there might be four se sections that we have to cover. Okay, so there's your weekly, your daily agendas for the week. So this is week one. So it says number one, going back to, num to Monday. Number one, you read the syllabus. Number two, make sure you have access to a scan or a scanning app because you're going to be turning in assignments and your, um, your graded test, the work has to be submitted. And so you need a scanning app. Either you, you download a scanning app on your phone or if you have a printer scanner, at your house, you can use that as well. You would um, you would uh, scan it in your phone and and send it to your your computer or printer. Then I would need for you to complete the technology survey. Um, this is due notice of due date, 
Thursday, August 19th, because even though you are taking this face to face, you are going to be taking your tests and quizzes online and you're going to be submitting your worksheets through Canvas. You, you're not going to be turning in any hard copies of, of assignments because of the COVID protocol. All right, so, so I need you to do the technology survey. Um, so you click on that and you do the technology survey to indicate whether you need a Chromebook because BRC will lend you a Chromebook or a um, or if you have a computer but you don't have a webcam you need to indicate that because because all tests all proctored tests and quizzes will be proctored you're going to need a, a um, webcam and because because Proctorio is going to record what what you're is going to record you as well as as what you're doing on on the computer okay so then that's so we I just mentioned Proctorio so you can download the Proctorio extensions this is needed to taking proctor test quizzes final exams so you can go here to read more information about it um, then number seven this is where we start talking about our uh, sections. So section 1.1 is on solving linear equations. So the first objective is to solve linear equation one variable and then you're going to go and you could click on this and it brings you to the um, the videos and the lessons. Notice that with each video the notes are with it. So the notes are with these videos. So that should help you rather than just watching a video you have the notes with those as well. Okay. So I'm going to use the back arrow. I'm going to go back. All right. Then on Wednesday, I need for you to try to make sure you're registering for Newton Alta because you are going to start working on your assignments in Newton Alta. We're going to talk about this in a little while. So uh, Wednesday, you're going to register for Newton Alta. You can do the two-week trial period in the registration process. So then you're going to start you're going to continue talking about section 1.1. In this case, though, we're going to talk about rational equations. And so you click on this, and it'll bring you to the lessons on rational equations. Notice the notes are located with them as well. Okay, so I'm going to use the back arrow. So uh, then you're going to notice there are three worksheets here. See this first one right here? It says worksheet for section 1.1, topic 2.1. This is not graded. So throughout the semester, there will be some worksheets that you're going to turn in and some worksheets um, that you're not going to turn in, but you still have to do. Don't confuse worksheets with ALTA assignments. Those are two different things. So worksheets are 15% of your grade and the ALTA assignments or 15% of your grade. So that's a total of 30% right there. Okay. All right. So notice this work. First worksheet is not to be graded, but the other two are. You see that right here? So you're going to click on the worksheet. So click here, for example. I'm going to click on this. It um, brings you to this. Okay. So it says this worksheet covers lessons from topic 1, part 1 and 2. You will do the work on your own paper. Make sure that you scan the pages in one document. Now, if for some reason you you um, having trouble scanning in one document and it, it's only like, let's say, three pages, you can scan three separate pages and then uh, upload it to Canvas. All right. So here's the worksheet. So I'm going to click the down arrow, click the down arrow to get that worksheet. And then there's a worksheet. So you have these four problems. Make sure you read the directions. Always read the directions. OK. All right. So I'm going to go back to this and then once you're ready, so let me go back here. I'm going to go back an arrow. All right, so let's say you do the assignment and then you're ready to submit it. So you're going to come back to the home page. You're going to come back here. See right here? And for this assignment that we just talked about, you're going to click on here, submit here, and you're going to go here. We see where it says start assignment. You're going to click on start assignment. You're going to upload the file. Now, if it's three pages, you're going to add another file. Okay, so you can click adding another file. You can add another file. So it's three pages. Just add another file and upload each one. Okay. All right. Um, you're not going to be using a webcam. I'm not sure why the webcam's there, um, but you're just going to upload your file. Do not use a webcam. All right. So I'm going to cancel that. And I'm going to go back. Okay. Um, all right. So then 
then we're going to start talking about classifying equations. So this is a very short topic. It just talks about um, uh, inconsistent, consistent, and um, uh, equations that are identities. So it's a very short one. Okay, so then you see where it says Newton Alta. So all this is section 1.1. Now, once you study this, once you've studied this, once you've um, looked at the assignments, now these assignments are due Sunday. Uh, but once you're ready, once you're ready to start the Newton Alta assignment, this is where you're going to go. Now, this is due in, uh, in about a week and a half, so two weeks maybe, October, August 27th. So you're going to click on here, and it'll bring you to... Now, I'm in student view, so I'm not sure what that's going to look like, but let's see what it looks like. So, it'll bring you to this. You're going to click on this, and it's going to ask you um, to register or to do that two-week trial period, okay? All right, so I'm going to go back, and then if you need to see more examples for section 1.1, you can go here. So, there, there's this, um, uh, so there's this link there's this link and then there's this link to where you can see um, videos that BRCC has or uh, that they got from YouTube okay and then you do the same thing with Friday now Friday's topic talks about word problems so those are the four objectives here are the lessons there are no worksheets to do for this one but there is an outer assignment all right, and notice the ALTRA assignments due Sunday, August 29th, so you have some time to do this. But if you click on this link right here where it says study the lessons, so these are the lessons that uh, deal with those uh, four objectives that, that you saw, part one, part two, part three, and then part four, okay? All right, so um, let's see. All right, and then if you need to see more examples for 1.2, you go here, so see where it says access of the BRCC YouTube, so if you click on that, it brings you to this page. Now the way that BRCC set it up is that, is that for, the, for this page, they have those four sections and they have some links to videos here. Okay, so um, this one was 1.2, so just click on some of these to see if you need, if you need um, uh, help with, with more of these, all right? Okay, so for right now, for right now, that is all I wanted to talk about. So remember, go to the home page, and that's where you're going to see this table. So make sure you're looking at all this information for Newton right here. Look at the information for Newton, and then start on Monday. Start looking at Monday's agenda. And then Wednesday, um, this is what you, we're, we're going to be doing. And then Friday, this is what we're going to be doing. Now, when Wednesday, when we meet, we're meeting for about an hour and a half. And so we're going to do some things from here, some things from here, and then some things from here. So there's no way that we're going to be able to cover every single thing during that time period. So notice that those of you that are face-to-face, -face, uh, this is called a hybrid course. So you do some stuff at... Um, on the web and you'll do some stuff in class okay all right so um, have a great semester and each week I will do a video that talks about the week's agenda all right so have a great day and I'll see you Wednesday